Welcome, final expense agents and brokers, to the most popular audio training and podcast in the industry, The Lead Jerk Show, where we cut through the red tape and give you only the best in expert interviews. So strap in and grab a cold beverage and get ready to learn and earn. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the one and only Matt Lowry, also known as The Lead Jerk. Hey guys, this is Matt Lowry, the lead jerk. I'm here with Peter Walker, and uh, some of you may remember an, a little older video and a podcast we did um, probably about a year and a half, maybe even two years ago. And uh, so we're doing a, a update uh, interview here with the lead jerk. And uh, Peter, you want to take it away and kind of kind of give a little background on what you did in the past and kind of kind of how we know each other and, and what you're doing now. Right. I had a lot of 15 hour days too. A lot of a lot of 15 hour 16 hour days. Yeah, I mean, what's a typical renewal on final expense after, after your nine month uh, initial, and then your three month you get later? Uh, it's what like anywhere from one to maybe four percent if you're lucky. Yeah, and I, I mean, I had a couple companies that were a little bit higher than that for yeah. five years, but uh, you're talking about final expense, you know? Yeah. The people aren't healthy. Um, there's a reason I waited seven years to get insurance in the first place. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, just by default, you're going to be dropping a lot of policies. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'd heard a lot at that stage. Um, I'm going to pull over my car here, Matt. So sure, can, sure, go for it. Yeah, I've got to mention, I, I want to mention to everybody listening, uh, Peter's actually on the road right now, and uh, he's uh, been kind enough to take some of the time while he's traveling to, uh, to talk with us, so I want to make sure everybody knows that. Yeah, you were leaving some money. You felt like maybe you were leaving a little money on the table, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's the same old thing, man. I'm, you're already sitting in front of the client. You're paying for that lead. In my case, I was running mostly direct mail leads. I was running some of your right. telemarketing leads. Right. And, um, but you're paying to get in front of that client, and you might as well offer them additional products. And uh, so long story short, I, I was going to do just Medicare supplements because I didn't want to mess, you know, I'd 
read and heard these nightmare stories about Medicare Advantage being, you know, overseen by CMS and people losing their licenses. Right. It just, just sounded scary. So I started with subs, and I did well. I think I saw probably 50 subs in my first three months. Wow. Uh, which surprised me, because these are final expense people, but right. they're also in the country, you know. Um, but 90% of the people I saw were, were needing Medicare Advantage help. And so I, I, you know, I, I put the bullet, I went and got my, my AHIP and, and studied up and man, the results just blew me away. So, um, started training some agents and they started doing well. And long story short, I got, uh, I, I got into, uh, a meeting with Eric, uh, Brennan, yeah. um, through, uh, through, uh, through another fella and, uh, Eric asked me to come and join them. Um, and start a Medicare division uh, for Equa. Right. Uh, that's what we did about a year, well, almost, almost a year and a half ago now. Um, they've got thousands of agents, obviously, contracted nationally. Right. Uh, you know, so, so part of my partnership with them is having access to all those agents. And, and really, we're looking at a, a much bigger long-term picture, and it's, it's kind of now integrated into, into our training for every single agent that wants to. Yeah, I think that's smart. I think a lot of people, uh, I mean, I've heard the horror stories now. We both know how that goes sometimes. It's, you know, maybe one person it happened to, and then next thing you know, you know, agents are saying, well, you know, my brother's sister's uncle's nephew got busted for blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, I think it's all about staying compliant and just knowing how, you know, not to get yourself in trouble. Right. There is some gray area, but the bottom line is, if you if you are aware of the rules and you're following them and you're staying compliant, you're going to be fine. Right. You're not going to get any. You're not going to even get any complaints. You know, I. So what I tell agents is, when I walk in a house, like you can either help someone or you, or you can't help them. If right. They're in a good place. Leave them where they're at. Like selling final expense. Right. Right. Now, let me, let me ask you something. If you could break that down a little bit, Peter. Like, on the on the Medicare Advantage, for instance, I, you know, it, what's the difference on the on the reoccurring, you know, income for the supplement versus? I think most supplements go what six years, depending on your state. But what what how does it work with the Advantage? I know that's probably dependent on state as well. But what's the what's the you know kind of the, the average between the two? Okay. So for for the national carriers. So first of all, it's not dependent on state. This is, okay. this is different to, to med subs. Um, so I'm talking purely the national carriers now because there are some local carriers that pay differently and they may pay a different amount. Right. But uh, the national CMS amounts are, um, they, they pay for the life of the policy. So the average MAPD, and I'm not talking about dual eligible, right? Right. The regular, the regular good old MAPD, um, the average lifespan according to and United Healthcare is 7.6 years. So I don't know if you've got a calculator handy, but next year's commission uh, renewal levels, so if you're moving somebody from one, one company to another, right. it's two, $241 a year. Right. You multiply, you multiply that by seven years, and you're looking at like 1700 bucks. if my math is right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep, yeah, right at 1700 Right, and so 7.6 years, so it's, it'll be over 1700 bucks. Yeah. Right. Talk, talking about people that actually service their customer. And when I say service, it's just, a, you know, send them a letter a couple times a year, send them a, a postcard, give them a call before AEP starts, make sure they're happy, make sure they don't, you know, have any changes to their medications or, you know, they need, you know, they need to change plans or anything like that. Um, so, you know, when you're looking at adding two a week, that's 100 policies a year times $240, right? 
Yep. That's, that's 24,000, correct? Yes. Okay, times 7.6. 7.6. 182,400. So that's in a year's work, adding two policies <laughs> a week, you're adding 180 grand worth of lifetime income. Wow. And guess, and guess what it costs you on leads, Matt? Nothing. Nothing. Yep. Nothing. Right, depends on what they're where they're at. Yeah. That's, that's it. You present, you know, you 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 go in as a as a professional that that's there to help them navigate the minefield that is Medicare. What do you find in Peter like um, when you're working? You know, the, the the typical and the standard final expense lead. What do you find in that? You know, when you get in front of them, what 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 kind of percentage are you seeing where, you know, they're going to be, you know, the the Medicare Advantage versus the supplement. Is it? Is I, I would assume it's probably heavier weight on the MAPDs, but yeah, and it's gonna kind of, it's gonna kind of vary by territory. But yeah, uh, I've now been all over the country, so you know, with the agents, and I think on average you're looking at a, probably ninety percent is gonna be MAPD. Right. Now there are some areas like up in New Jersey where I find a lot more med subs. You know, where people just have a little bit more money. Right. Hand in hand, and well, even on the the ten percent of the Medicare supplement, you might be able to help. That's still pretty good over the over the life of one of those policies, too. Oh yeah, and you know the thing with the med sub is you only get paid for six years, but the, the the real thing is you keep those clients happy, you stay in touch with them, and you know if their prices go up and there's a cheaper med sub, you roll them into that and you start right. the clock again. Start it over, yeah, to help them. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And I would assume that maybe you might get a few more, well, you probably technically can only get a referral from Medicare supplement, but, um, you know. That's not, that's not true. It's not. not true. See, see, it's there true. you go, there you go. There, there's one of those, there's one of those false hoods out there. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, you can absolutely leave your business card and tell Miss Mary, listen, if you have any friends or family that you think could use my services and use my help, please have them call me. And, uh, in fact, when I schedule an appointment, uh, you know, once I've had my scope signed, and that's one of those compliance things, which we won't get into all the compliance details sure. today. That's something that I teach you, you know, if you yeah. come on board with me. Um, but when I set my appointment, I'll tell Miss Mary, listen, if there's anyone in your friends or family that you feel could use my help, make sure they're there when I come and see you. Because you can write that as a walk-in, and, man, I've been in houses where I've written five policies in one setting. Right. You know, five, little, five little old ladies sitting there dying for help on their on their healthcare. And Matt, you know, here's another here's another big thing is we all you're a field agent like me. Yep. You know, we've been into countless houses where it's not the product they wanted, they they need it. It's they truly have absolutely no money. Right. 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 Because they, you, you literally are changing these people, these beneficiaries' lives. You know, what, hap what happens, and the reason you can change people as much as I'm saying you can is, you know, when you're in an area like in Houston, Texas, if you look at just HMO plans, there's like 15, 20 plans available. So most of these people are buying it because they see an ad on TV. Right. And they're thinking, man, hey, United Healthcare sounds great. But what they don't realize is these plans aren't cookie cutter. They're not one size fits all. They, the real, the real cost savings in many cases is the formulary. You know, the the drugs that are on the formulary. Every every plan's got a different formulary. So your drugs may cost two grand with United Healthcare, but guess what? They may they may all be tier one with Aetna and cost you zero. Right. So, Right, that's what. Or they're getting additional benefits. Right, and that just goes back to running a, a good honest business, 
you know. Oh and, man, it's 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 more than just the money you make. I I tell you, it is such it, it's final expense for me. You know, I was just a uh, I I'd book up ten appointments a day. You know, if I could. Right. And I would just run and gun. And, and if I'm being honest with you, I was not I was not the kind of guy to call those customers and maintain that book of business. I, right. Final right. expense is not is not a book of business. Right. Right, exactly. And you might can get somebody, like you said, you can save money on their prescriptions or maybe more coverage for, you know, yeah, uh, for zero dollars. They may be paying zero dollars now. Yes, yeah, so let me ask you, like, for an example, if someone's sitting there and they've got a zero premium MAPD now, but there's another plan that gives them more coverage for whatever reason in whatever area, that's something that's the same thing as, you know, giving them more than they're getting now for you know, zero dollars, oh, yeah. but they're still yeah, getting yeah. more not, out of not it. Every, yeah, that's right. Not every plan has got a gym membership. Not every plan has right. got uh, meals on wheels and, you know, the other... The other uh, Silver sneakers and all that stuff, yeah. Company. Yeah. So, how does it work? Let me let me ask you this. So, how does it work? Uh, and I haven't talked to you in, in, in so long, so I'm not real sure how this works, but say, for instance, there's there, there are some agents listening to this and they're like, you know, this sounds really good. But they're but they're happy with their IMO where they're at now. But their IMO doesn't offer this, right? Or it doesn't have the expertise on it. How does that work with you as far as if they were interested in talking with you about doing something with the supplements and the Medicare Advantage? Would they can they be a, a dual agent where final expense is still left? And I'm just asking this because I know there's people who's going to be listening to this and they're going to have that question. Right. I think the one that I'm at is 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 one of the best. But right. If somebody's been with their IMO for a long time, they're loyal and they and they're happy. I'm not going to tell them to move, but they they're more than welcome to do their Medicare with me. And you know, the the difference is the agents that are on our pro on our final expense program and are buying leads from us. Right. Right. And so that, that's the benefit that they get if they're with us. Now, if they're not with us on final expense, they still have access to me. I can still train them through video conferencing on the phone. And and they will sell. They'll sell the, 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 the hell out of this. Right. And, uh, you know, we don't, uh, we don't have... Uh, uh, these aren't captive contracts. I mean, you're contracting to that, you know, to that carrier. Right. Right. They just raised, they just raised uh, MAPD commissions uh, 5.9%. That's a lot. Year over year, yes. And the year before was the same kind of deal. So, and, you know, not only, are yeah. you, not only are you selling something that doesn't cost anything and is of massive benefit to the person that you're helping, you're getting paid for, for the life of the policy a real good amount, um, and you're getting yearly raises. Doing the same job. Right, right. And the reason I, I ask these questions is because you know, you know, there's going to be agents listening to this saying, "Wow, I'm interested in that. I'd like to do that, but I'm over here now." I think that if an agent, wherever they're getting their leads, but particularly if they're getting them through their IMO, obviously the IMO doesn't want someone, you know, selling just like just like Equity. You don't want somebody selling your leads on another IMO. You know, they have a pause. Uh, FE contracts with, but if the IMO doesn't offer uh, what you are, I don't, I don't see where they would really have a concern about that. Um, especially no, if it's going to make the agent right. more stable for them. That's right. Well, I mean, that that's really what this is all about, right? It's stability. Yeah. For the final expense agent to be able to survive the ups and downs, because right. Yeah, you've got a base income. 
almost two grand a month. Yeah. Yeah, two grand a month. I don't know about you, buddy, but you know that is a great little addition. That before you roll out of bed, you know you've already got your lead cost covered, or at least a good portion of it. Yeah, I was gonna say that that covers almost. Well, it depends on how many you buy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, that covers about half. That could cover about half here in Georgia. <laughs> not, not, not my lead cost, but uh, yeah. <laughs> listen, you know the the other thing I will say is I don't recommend somebody that's brand spanking new in final expense. Yeah. To jump, to jump right into Medicare as well. Yeah. Because you need to learn how to sell first. Yeah. You gotta learn that market yeah. too. You gotta learn how to hold them hands in that market. Absol- absolutely. Yeah. And, Getting yep. into those houses year round, and and that's that's something we should we should uh, hit on here is most people think you can only sell Medicare Advantage um, from October fifteenth through December seventh. In many cases, that's true, but when you're dealing with low income seniors like we see, right, um, seventy to eighty percent of those people are eligible for what's called a special enrollment, and uh-huh. we can enroll them year round. So, you know, the ones you can't, you you collect a. a Right, and a lot of people don't know that, you know. That's right. And what? Let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this, Peter. Do you see? I know you see a huge increase during AEP, but I would I would be willing to bet money. It's kind of a known thing. You probably see a surge and spike in Medicare supplement sales during that time too, right? Because it's so heavily promoted, and they think that's the only yeah. time they can switch, but it's really not. But they 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 get become more aware by billions of dollars in advertising, so it helps everybody. Yeah. The, the, the healthcare carriers are blowing so much money on advertising that uh, final expense suffers. You know, we've all been there in October. All our focus is about healthcare. Yeah. Well, it can be. It can be, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> Sign here and I'll come back and we'll it, go over your option. Yep. And there's something uh, I've, I've been seeing too is. You know, in our in our leads, when we generate, we've been increasing, we've been gradually increasing the income, um, try and try. But the reason why is trying to get the you know agents that use our leads into more of a position to do that. Um, you know, because of the MAPD thing, some of them are still kind of gun shy. But that's one of the reason why I wanted to to talk with you is because I think that. Uh, you know, what you're doing is kind of an eye-opener for a lot of them, and we've been increasing the income, trying to get them in front of, you know, final expense, but also more Medicare-eligible people that have a little bit more income, that have an A supplement. Um, and so that's kind of what we've been doing our end. It's kind of working out. Some of them are double, you know, cross-selling uh, supplements, but there's still a lot of them out there that don't realize, hey, if you do it the right way, uh, you know, you could still be doing the MAPDs. Yep. You, get me in front, you get me in front of a, a, a target audience, again, I'm not going in with any preconceived notions. In fact, you know, when you learn how to ask the additional questions in the house and do it compliantly, you can discover all kinds of things. You know, a, a big one, and I'm sure you've heard this before, things like dental insurance, uh, dental vision hearing plans. Oh, yeah. And, uh, hospital indemnity plans. You know, when I walk into a house and they, let's say they're on the United Healthcare Medicare Complete Plan 1 and they're not paying anything for their drugs, Right. So there's just so many other, you know, openings that just appear to you when you learn how to when you learn how to have these conversations. I know that I know that one that agents hear a lot is uh, like especially during AEP, like you said, is it's always prescription, dental, and indemnity, hospital. You know, th- those three seem to come up a lot. Um, 
that's things that people are, are really looking for and becoming more aware of during during that time. But like you said, it's 365 days a year, really, when it comes down to yeah, it. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it is 365. It truly is. And, and I tell you, man, when you make a sale on one of these things, as I said earlier, you're putting the, you're putting the client in a better place, whether it's financially or they're getting additional benefits or whatever it may be. And the look of relief you get on these clients, because you're, you're not asking for a checkbook. You're not asking for a credit card. It's not costing them anything in many cases. Right. Now, hospital, hospital indemnity, they may be paying 40 bucks a month extra. Right. They, they are so relieved, and it's not that salesman relationship feeling that you get when you sell final expenses. Right. The whole, the whole mood in the room changes, and it just makes the, the final expense job itself that much more enjoyable. So are you... Um... Are you are you all over the country now, uh, training and? I I am yeah I uh, I was in I was in uh, New Mexico last week. Um, I'm off to where am I going? California next week. Week after that, I'm up in New York and New Jersey, and then I'm back down to Georgia. Yeah, so I'm, wow. I'm all over the country. All over the country. Like I said, these are you know the agents that are on a, on a standing final expense feed order with us. Yeah. Um, you know we we are willing to that money to, to really get them trained up with one-on-one training but you know I've got a, I've got a couple dozen agents that have just done it all over the phone and, and uh, you know I do like a, a web video conference with sure. them and I work through the plans with them and, and I've got a lot of those guys and girls that are doing great just just with that so um, yeah I'm, uh, I'm quite happy to train anyone even if it's even if it's with our nemesis competition it doesn't matter to me sure and that, and that's another reason I wanted to I want to you know wanted to talk to you today is because what I'd like what I like doing is I try to put stuff out there that's going to help agents um, obviously and I think this is something that you know if they're intrigued they should contact you um, I think this is something that could that could help them offset some expenses build up some uh, renewal income other than the final expense uh, you know and add other products later as they see. Because, you know, there's a lot of vertical integration going on in the industry. I mean, it used to be uh, final expense, final expense, final expense was just FE. You know, Medicare, Medicare, Medicare was just Medicare. You had you had one or two. Though you had a final expense agent or a Medicare agent, right? And then you had reg- a regular health care agent. So I'm seeing a lot of integration where really it's not that. It's more of a senior uh, a senior insurance agent. Does that make sense? Yeah, you, you know? you're becoming a senior advisor. Yeah. Once you once you get the hang of it, man. You know, and again, you you don't want to take a, a freshman. You know, a yeah. green green down the wet down the earth guy. You want to, you want somebody that's been doing. I would say for like six months. If you can write 10, 12, 15 grand a month in final expense, you're ready to, to add this to your toolbox. Right. Um, and you know, you'll you add one thing at a time. You don't have to add hospital indemnity, DVH, cancer, heart attack, stroke. Yeah. And Medicare Advantage and Medicare supplement. Right. Really become, an ex- become an expert at it. Yeah, that way they can explain it in more detail to the to the client. Matt, I've got a guy. So, so I've got. I mean, I've I've trained dozens of guys, and um, I've I've got one particular story. I've got a guy in Austin, Texas. He's a he's a great final expense agent. He wrote uh, two hundred twenty five thousand dollars last year. Uh huh.
Ray, I'm probably going to be getting more referrals too. Yeah, it's, it's doable, man. It's, it's absolutely doable. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool you get some referrals off that too because, I don't know, I mean, I hear agents say, hey, you know, you can get referrals off final expense, but honestly, my experience, I mean, it's not really that type of product. <laughs> um, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of times in their, in their view, it's a necessary evil. I mean, it's de definitely a necessary thing to have, and, they, and a lot of them get that. But I just think it'd be nice, like you said, for agents to have the ability to add some more things to their uh, to their wheel gun, you know? Yeah, man, I, I tell you, I know there's going to be guys out there like screaming at you and I on this one, but <laughs> I was never a refer I mean, I'd get the occasional one. Yeah. Would fall in, would fall in my lap. Yeah. But I, I could never figure out how to really get I know. A, a, a whack of referrals out of my lap. I, I know, it's tough. It really is. You know, um, it Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, it's kind of what you have to do. You have to add more, add, add more uh, wood to the fire. <laughs> I'll spend I'll spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars of lead of leads in a year if I can make two hundred fifty grand profit. Right. I don't I don't care that my ROI sucks compared to the average people in the industry. Guess what? I'm still making four times more than you are. Right. And and that's the way I look at it. So final expense to me, if, if there's a lead source, you can brute force your way to success. Yeah. Um, I'm right. already doing 30 leads a week because there are, there are so many people out there that need help with their health care. And they're confused. It's a, it, it's a, it, you know, you you have to be an agent to even understand this shit. <laughs> yep, yep. No, you're right. You know? Well, you know, most, most agents don't understand it. No, they, a lot of them so, don't. So, so that's a good point. You know, part of my training is I try to do it very step-by-step. Step. It's a very methodical method that I've set up. Um, you know, you follow step one through ten on every single client. Whether you think you know the answer or not, you go through the same the same steps each and every time. And as long as you're collecting the necessary information, you cannot screw somebody's health care up. Remember, this is something that they use a lot more than they do their final expense. Yeah, yeah it's a one shot. Kick, yeah, you only kick the bucket once. Right. right? Yeah, it's almost twenty percent. Yeah. Yep. So um, no, I uh, I don't. I think you. I think you would be doing yourself a massive disservice, um, not trying to learn how to sell healthcare products. I think it's a. You know, there, there's no way you're going to replace. You, you're never going to retire, no matter how good you are. You can be the top guy in the country. You're never going to retire on your renewal income from final expense. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked when I look around at a lot of the agencies that that are that are that are pretty much you know final expense uh, IMOs and they're and they're good ones you know there's a lot of really good ones out there but I'm I'm kind of shocked that I don't know you know why they don't um, delve deeper I mean I it, it, well I, I do know why there's 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 a lot of work to it in the beginning to get it to get it set up I understand that but. I think it's a good thing you guys are doing, and I wanted to. That's why I wanted to have you on and talk to you about it. How, look, Peter, how how could uh how could people get in touch with you? An agent is in a situation like you talked about. They've kind of got final expense under their belt. You know, they're doing well, but they want to, you know, diversify a little bit and start building up some of that other uh other revenue. You know, that they can forecast a little easier. How could they get in touch with you to talk to you? I would. I would just have them email me, Matt. My my email address is p. Walker W A L K E R at Equita and the number one dot com. So E Q U I T A the number one, one. dot com. Okay, and I'll make uh, sure I put this in the description of the video for us too. Yeah, man, and uh, if I all means, no strings attached. I'll be more more than willing to go over the numbers, and you know, I in fact part of what I do is before we even get started is. I do a, a little presentation and kind of, because each agent's different. Some people want to work three days a week, some want to work six days a week and 60 leads. So, right. you know, I, I can quite easily just show you, you know, if you think you can sell 150 plans a year, what is that going to look like in five years' time? Um, and I, I, I really visualize it for them so that they can understand why this is important and what it's going to do for their career. Um, and how it's going to stabilize their income and, and pay them for for many years to come. 
Right. Obviously, with the one caveat of, of healthcare becoming socialized you know, under Bernie Sanders, but I don't think I that's going to happen. That, right? I don't think so either. People are not, I don't think they're going to go for that. That's It's socialized enough already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you know me, man. I'm a, I'm a pretty, I'm a, not a pretty hands-on. I'm a very hands-on guy. Right. And I take, a, I take a real interest in the success of, of the people that I work with. And uh, again, you know, if somebody just wants to call me or, or email me and just have a chat and pick my brain, I'm more than willing to do that. Sure. It's free of charge. Let, let me ask you this, Peter. Switch gears just, just for a few minutes. Let me ask you this. Um, you know, I've shared we we're, we're about to release, uh, you know, our, our Medicare supplement leads uh telemarketing and uh facebook facebook's gonna be a little later but uh the telemarketing's coming along fairly nicely what um say you've got some medicare agents out there supplement agents they're listening um you know is is it just as easy for them like to give you a call like no matter what lead source they're working you know give you a call and say hey uh you know i'd like to i'd like to learn more about this uh how can i you know okay yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, and there's, I think there's a lot of a uh, lot of agents selling Medicare, and they've thought about selling final expense. Yeah. And, you know, I can absolutely help them with that cross sell. I mean, obviously, I know how to sell a little bit of final expense too. Yeah, but, and uh, and you know as well as I do, on a Medicare supplement lead, even though you're targeting people that have supplements, there's always a percentage depending on what the penetration rate is on EMA in an area. That's why we're we've been testing this and beta testing it for a while now. We pretty much got it down. Uh, you know, there's always a certain percentage of people that think they have supplements, but they don't. So, they all think they got a supplement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. But there's going to be some that actually have supplements and other ones that have, you know, that don't. So that's, uh, you know, I'm tr- I want to give more value to if, you know, if somebody, especially if somebody's listening to this and they're a customer of ours and they're, they say, hey, wow, Matt's going to be offering uh, Medicare leads soon. I want to give them a, a way, you know, somebody contact that. Hey, if they're not doing MA right now, look, if you're if you're going to be buying our Medicare supplement leads, you might as well take advantage and get hooked up with somebody that can help you maximize that money you're spending. You know, rather than just saying it's a it's dead and I can't do anything with you know, ten out of uh, twenty five leads because they were MA, and that shit's just going to happen. There's yeah, we've tightened the ropes up on what the question we answer, but it's just they're going to slip through, and it's just the way it is. That's right, and, and Matt, there are a lot of people that are actually dropping their subs to get into MAPD, you know, and yep. again, it's, it, it's, about, it's about teaching these, you know, all you're doing is educating the client, right, showing right. them the positives and the negatives, but, you know, if you're, a, if you're a person that's 76 years old, and you're healthy, and you never leave the, the, the state that you're in or the city that you live in, um, in many cases, you can get a lot of benefit out of being in a in a MAPD policy, especially if you couple it with a hospital indemnity plan to cover the gaps. You can essentially create a synthetic Medicare supplement. Right. Obviously, the, the network's not as wide as a standard sub, um, but you can create a lot of value and save a lot of these people, you know, a substantial amount of income, and and they can make that decision. Um, you know, and even with guys that sell subs, I mean. We know that Plan F is no longer going to be available after 2020. And yeah, that's a so that's a total. You yeah. To, you need to know all those things. Yep. Yeah, the only people that are going to be left in that are the ones that can't switch, and they're going to get busted really hard on the premiums. Right, and then some of those people guess what they can qualify for? Yeah, maybe. Your plan. Yep. Yeah, I see a huge amount of people. You know, my aunt's one of them. Uh, she's had an F for a while, I believe, and uh, I, I told her, <laughs> I said, hey. You need to start looking at something now because you do not want to be left in that because what's going to happen, your premiums are going to skyrocket because you can still move or you can do something different now. So, you know. Well, it's not, it's not only that, right? I mean, there's companies, there's companies uh, that have got a, a, a history of closing pools and creating that situation. Anytime you're in a closed pool where you can't get fresh blood coming in yearly, yeah. the rates, you know, people are going to get older. Yep. And they're going to get sicker, and you're going to get priced out, you know, beyond belief. So, you know, you need to know how to use Plan N. You need to know how to use Plan G. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and uh, hell, even those people, you should be offering, you know, you should be offering some additional products, like dental vision hearing. That's never covered under this. Right, this right. So, that's that's know, the main complaint I hear. Yeah. Blow it up. That's the main complaint I hear that's not on there, yeah. Yep. 
It's like all healthcare is not really on there. Yeah, and there's really the only real dental insurance there is 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 that. I mean, even for somebody my age or your age, I mean, there's there's things out there, but they're they're more. <laughs> I don't know if you could call it insurance. Um, it's really hard to find. No, that's right. That's right. But there also, there's some decent there's some decent policies out there and that are really useful to these people. Yeah. And I'll tell you one one other thing is if, if teeth are an issue, a lot of the carriers uh, next year are going to be adding uh, comprehensive dental uh, on the MAPD plan, and uh, that's going to be a real draw for some seniors. And in many cases, they'll cover dentures too. So it's uh, you know there, there's there's some real interesting things happening in the market. And, I, you know, it's, when we talk about market size, I mean, that's something that we'd be remiss not to mention. Is we, we're looking at over 60 million eligibles right now, and that number is going to be over 90 million in 15 years' time. So you yeah. Gotta, you've got a market that, I'm telling you now, Matt, if I'm, if I'm sitting in front of 10 people, I'm writing seven or eight plans. Yeah, that, that's just uh, going to get bigger as the baby boomer generation ages more. Yeah. Cool. Well, this has been a great, a great discussion, Peter. I got a lot out of it. I think that, uh, I think people listening are going to enjoy it a lot. And I urge you guys, you know, like I said, if you're an FE guy and that's been your thing for a while and you got it down, but you want to, you know, increase your ROI on what you're doing now and, uh, you know, give, give Peter a call or, uh, email him. And I'll have that uh, email in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If not, uh, just, you know, rewind and write it down again. Because <laughs> uh, that'd be the best way to get him. Um, kind of the same way with me. Getting a hold of me is kind of hard sometimes on the phone. But email, I'm always usually pretty uh, pretty available no matter where I'm at. Because of these little things called smartphones. So, we've all, we've all got them in our pockets. So, uh Again, Peter, could you could you just mention your uh, email one more time and? Um... Yes, of course, Matt. It's uh, p. Dot Walker at equita one dot com. E q u i t a the number one dot com. Okay, cool. Well, man, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I know you're you're busy. You're out there traveling. And where, where are you heading to right now? I'm on my way to Tulsa, and then I'll be in Oklahoma City tomorrow and Friday. So. Wow. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I, I, de I definitely would would enjoy that. So, cool. Well, let me know when you're gonna be around, and uh, let's keep in touch. And uh, let me know, uh, let me know, know what you, what you, what kind of feedback you get from this, because I'm sure you're gonna have some people contact you. I will absolutely, of course, man. Okay. And tell, uh, tell old uh, shooter I said hello. <laughs> All right, man. Cheers, cheers, buddy. Thanks so much, Peter. See you later, buddy. Uh -huh. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Alrighty, guys. There you go. Uh, Peter Walker. Um, if you didn't catch the uh, email, I'll put it in the description of this video. Um, he did mention it a couple of times, so uh, give him a call. You know, if you're one of those guys that are uh, an agent that's uh, looking to diversify a little bit, and uh, I think it's probably the way to go. If your IMO doesn't have a problem with that, um, they're not going to get into Medicare or they don't, uh, give them a call. If um, if you're a Medicare supplement agent that's been thinking about, you know, doing something like this and you've kind of, you know, been a little fearful of it, uh, you know, I've known Peter for several years now. He's a straight-up guy. And, uh, you know, I, I think you would be in pretty good hands uh, dealing with him no matter where your lead source is. So it's one of the reasons I wanted to put this out there uh, because we are going to be introducing our Medicare supplement leads here very soon. And I want to give you guys some options. Um, so that's what I'm here for uh, is to help you guys out. So. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, you can give us a call at 404-580-7151, or you can always email me directly, which is matt, M-A-T-T, at theleadjerk.com, and make sure to go visit our website, which is www.theleadjerk.com. All right, guys. 
Thanks so much for listening. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.